Hello everyone, Marcia here. I am back today with another scrapbook YouTube process video from my creative scrapbook. So I am working with the January kit and this beautiful kit features the Paige Evans Go the Scenic Route from Pink Paisley. So lots of bright um, beautiful colors um, just as in all of Paige's collections. So I'm using a cut file from Pear Tree Cut Files. This one is the Rainbow Days cut file. And so I cut this out of white paper and I am backing it now with all the different colors from um, the different pattern papers. A little hard to find a green. I have a little bit of green in the eye in the rainbow. But really there aren't any green pattern papers that came with the kit. so. There was one that had some blues mixed with greens, and that's what I used for the eye. But not enough to do an arch for the rainbow. So this cut file is exclusive to my Creative Scrapbook subscribers. Um, there are several Pear Tree cut files that come with the January kit in, um, as part of your kit subscription. You can also find her cut files on a website I'll post in the description. They are amazing. I've used her cut files several times. She's relatively new to selling cut files and is from the United Kingdom. So don't let that daunt you. Um, you can pay for her cut files in US dollars as well. Please check them out. She really has some amazing cut files. I am often asked how I cut the individual pieces out from a cut file when I am backing it like this one. And so I put a little tutorial together on YouTube. It's called How to Deconstruct a Cut File. So please look that up if you are interested. It's specifically for uh, Silhouette Cameo. So it's a tutorial on how to use the Silhouette Studio to take the pieces apart of the cut file and then offset them. Um, you also see me here using my fine line glue bottle. I love this fine line glue bottle. Um, I know that some of my friends have purchased it on my recommendation and they are always like, I can't believe I scrapbooked without this for so long because now they can't do without it. Also using my Cutter B scissors. I love these scissors for when I have just a little bit of trimming to do on some of the shapes that um, go over the edges a little bit. So check that out as well if you are looking for a really good scissors for fussy cutting. One of the last things I'm doing to the cut file is just adding a shadow for the word days. So I thought it would help it pop a little bit more with some color there. I knew I wanted to do some mixed media um, drips on here from the rainbow down. So I'm going to put some black gesso on black cardstock. And I'm just applying it with a palette knife and then using a just a pan scraper to even everything out and make it smooth. While that was drying I went through my acrylic paints to see what paints I had that would closely match the pattern paper. So once the gesso was dry I mixed together some different colors in my watercolor palette. So I'm going with pink, red, orange, yellow, green, a light blue, a dark blue for an indigo, and then a purple for a violet. I watered these down a little bit, but you can see I think that they're a little thick here and I'm adding a little bit more water to some of the paints. I'm putting just a little bit of paint in a line here. This will be covered up by the cut file pretty much. And then once I have all the paint on here, I will spray it with water to get it to run and drip for me. 
So I just keep a, a spray mister on my scrapbook desk um, for this purpose. It also comes in handy for cleaning up messes sometimes. Yeah, and I'm being very careful to clean in between my colors so that I don't get any bleed from from one color into the next when I'm putting it onto the paper. So I'm trying to line up the acrylic paint underneath the letter. So the A is a light blue, the R is a dark blue, and I really didn't have a purple on here, but I wanted to include all the colors of the rainbow on here. So I did include a purple here as well. So once I have all my paint down on my paper, I'm going to spray it with a mister. And then I'm just going to tap the cardstock onto some paper towels I have on my desk. And if you need to, uh, if you want it to run more than it is, uh, just spray it with some more water. With the gesso on the cardstock, if you don't like what you see on the paper, just wipe it off and start all over. Once my rainbow acrylic paint is dry, I am going to come back and uh, start putting everything together on my layout. First I'm going to adhere my cut file directly over the coordinating acrylic paint drips. This to me kind of looks like the rainbow is weeping. And it's appropriate because the photos I'm scrapping of are my dog Satchel. And unfortunately we had to say goodbye to Satchel this past December. So he has crossed over the rainbow bridge. This cut file is perfect for documenting your pets crossing over the rainbow bridge. Satchel was 18, a little over 18, and was my shadow for the past 18 and a half years. So he was constantly laying at my feet underneath my scrapbook desk or underneath my computer desk. He is going to be missed terribly. I'm using two photos on my layout. I didn't think this layout needed a bunch of embellishments. I did want to add some hearts from the puppy sticker sheet. These stickers are fun. So I put an always label on here as well as a heart below one of the photos and then a few hearts up by my rainbow. I want to add a few butterflies on here too so with my sewing machine I wanted to stitch some thread onto them so that I could have some thread dangling from the butterflies to show motion and I am adhering those on here now with some glue dots. Sometimes with the smaller butterflies the thread just pulled right out but I just use a glue dot to glue it back on. So if that happens to you, don't worry about it. Just glue it back on with a glue dot. So then I'm kind of twirling the thread around with my fingers to get it to lay so that it has little swirls in it. And again, I do this because I want to show that the butterfly is moving and kind of doing loop-de-loops in the air. I added a little bit of journaling inside this rainbow die cut F mirror piece so I could put Satchel's name and the dates that he lived. And I thought I should add a few more butterflies on here so I went in. Originally I was only going to do three but then I went back and I decided I would add two more. So when I'm adding embellishments on something Usually I try to do three. Um, sometimes it's clusters so that you have a triangle that leads you across the page. So I have kind of like three clusters here. See the cluster with all the hearts here and my little note card and a butterfly. And then we have another cluster above the R with more butterflies and some of those puffy sticker dots. And then my last cluster is underneath one of the photos with the always and another puffy heart. And I'm going to add another butterfly on here as well. That is my layout. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. 
please check out all of the kits at My Creative Scrapbook. I am working with the main kit, but they also have a creative kit, a limited edition kit, and an album kit. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.